Medusa, the horrifying creature that has snakes for hair and turns humans to stone by merely looking at her, is one of the most well-known figures in Greek mythology, and today we will be discussing her story in detail. Medusa was one of the three Gorgon sisters, monstrous creatures in Greek mythology. She was once a mortal woman, and her story begins with her being a priestess of the goddess Athena. She was known for her exceptional beauty as well as her gorgeous hair. However, her beauty attracted the attention of Poseidon, the god of the sea. One day, Poseidon saw Medusa in Athena's temple and was overcome with desire. In some instances of the story, Medusa reciprocated this desire and lost her virginity to Poseidon in Athena's temple. Originally, Medusa vowed to follow Athena and remain celibate because Athena was known as a virgin goddess. As a result of this defilement, Athena, who was outraged by the incident, cursed Medusa. She transformed her into a horrifyingly ugly creature with snakes for hair and the power to turn anyone into stone merely from making eye contact with her. Medusa and her two sisters, Stheno and Uriali, resided on an island called Sarpedon, which in the modern world is said to have been either somewhere off of the coast of Turkey or Libya. Perseus was the son of Zeus, the king of the gods, and Danae, a mortal princess. A prophecy foretold that Danae's son would eventually kill her father, Acrisius, the king of Argos. To avoid this fate, Acrisius locked Danae in a bronze chamber. However, Zeus visited Danae in the form of a golden shower, and she became pregnant with Perseus. We again encounter the theme of mortal figures in mythology trying to defy divine prophecy. As Perseus grew up, Acrisius learned of his existence and sent him and Danae adrift in a chest at sea. They eventually landed on the island of Seriphos, ruled by King Polydectes, where they were found by a fisherman named Dictys, who was the brother of the king. Dictys loved Perseus like a son and raised him into a strong and courageous young man. Polydectes became infatuated with Danae and hatched a plan to get rid of Perseus, Perseus, however, protected his mother from the king. When Polydectes invited his friends to dinner, he asked each of them for a gift. The other guests all offered a horse, but Perseus said he could bring something far more valuable. The head of the Gorgon, Medusa. Seeing this as an impossible task, Polydectes hoped that Perseus would be killed in the process. In the agreement made, if Perseus did not return with the Gorgon's head, Polydectes would take Danae by force. Perseus received divine aid to complete this perilous quest. Athena and Hermes, both children of Zeus, provided him with valuable gifts. A reflective shield, winged sandals, and a special sword known as the harp, which was a special sickle made out of adamantine. Adamantine was a stone mentioned in mythology that was said to be of impenetrable hardness, similar to diamonds in real life. The nymphs provided Perseus with even more tools for his quest a knapsack to carry Medusa's severed head, and the especially useful Helm of Hades, which made him invisible. To find the location of the Gorgons, Perseus sought the help of the Greyeye, three old women who shared a single eye, who were also the sisters of the Gorgons. They would not willingly reveal the location to Perseus, so he had to force the information out of them by snatching their eye. He agreed to give their eye back if they disclosed Medusa and her sister's location to him. With this information and his gifts from the gods, Perseus located the lair of the Gorgons. He used his shield to observe Medusa's reflection and avoid looking directly at her. In a swift and calculated strike, he beheaded Medusa while she slept. From her severed neck, the famous winged horse Pegasus and the lesser-known warrior giant Chrysior emerged. On his journey back to Seriphos, Perseus encountered the chained Andromeda, a beautiful princess who was to be sacrificed to a sea monster as punishment for her mother, Cassiopeia's boastfulness. Perseus slew the monster, saving Andromeda, and then proceeded to marry her. Perseus returned to Seriphos to find that Polydectes had become cruel to Danae in his absence. Perseus revealed Medusa's head, turning Polydectes and his followers into stone. Now free of the threat, Perseus and Danae went to the city of Larissa, where a sporting contest was taking place. During a discus throw, Perseus accidentally struck an elderly man who turned out to be Acrisius. 
The earlier mentioned prophecy was thus fulfilled as Acrisius eventually died from the injury. Perseus's heroic deeds were not forgotten. In honor of his accomplishments, Zeus placed him and Andromeda among the stars as constellations. This is also where we get the name of the Andromeda Galaxy, which lies between the constellations Pegasus and Cassiopeia. The myth of Perseus and Medusa is a timeless narrative that showcases the triumph of a mortal hero over a terrifying monster. Aided by divine intervention, the strength of his character and love for his family. Although an ancient story, there are some great lessons that we can learn that hold true today. The first lesson is that in all of our lives, we will be facing hazards and dangers, whether they are physical, mental or emotional. It is up to us to persevere through adversity even when seemingly impossible to achieve the goals we envision for ourselves. And that is it for the story of the hero Perseus and his encounter with the once beautiful Gorgon Medusa. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and feel free to leave a comment telling us what you might want to hear next. Thank you for watching.